In this lesson, we're going to look at a way to install a number of the Android development tools with one bundled download, the ADT, or Android Developer Tools. Google developed this option to help simplify installing the tools. As you can see on this graphic, it includes the Java SE Development Kit, or JDK, the Eclipse Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, the Android Software Development Kit, SDK, Android Development Tools, ADT, and the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB. So if you can, I strongly recommend using the ADT bundle download. It's still important to understand the individual tools, but installing them in a single step is a big time and effort saver. To download the ADT bundle, first follow this link to the Android developer's website. This Android website page explains what's in the ADT bundle. Download the bundle zip file by clicking here. Then click on setting up the ADT bundle for information on what to do next. And it's a simple process. You're going to unpack the zip file, and then you're going to open Eclipse from the Eclipse directory. And I'll show you what the files look like on my system after installation. So you see, I've installed it on my D drive, and down here is the execution file. So you click on this to fire up Eclipse. So compared to the multi-step process of installing individual tools, this is quite simple. When you first start the Eclipse program, you'll see this screen. This is a helper screen to reinforce how to get started developing your first app. We'll be going through these steps shortly, so you can scan through them for now, but wait for our lesson coming up on developing your first app, where we'll get started with actual development activities. So looking at this screen, you might be asking yourself, where's the real Eclipse workspace? All I see is words. To open the Eclipse development windows, you'll click on the window drop-down menu, then open perspective, and click on debug. So what you'll see when you first open Eclipse is an empty workspace, as you see here. And these are the windows we'll be filling in with files, code, and lots of other goodies. And once you're in the Eclipse ADT development environment, you'll see the tools as an integrated whole rather than individual pieces of software. Now that's one of the big benefits of an integrated development environment. As the name suggests, it's integrated. In the lesson coming up on Eclipse, we'll take a look at the details of the integrated development environment. Notice that there's a little bit of terminology confusion. If you look at the top left, you'll see the reference to Java and ADT, but nothing about Eclipse. All that's happened is that Eclipse doesn't have top billing in the display. If you click on Help and then About ADT, you'll see what's going on here. The whole environment is based on Eclipse. And it includes a number of tools, including, in addition to the Android development tools, the Java development tools, C development tools, and some others that we're not going to be focusing on in this course. You can find out more about these at eclipse.org. To get a feel for the extent of the Eclipse environment, you can click on Installation Details and Plugins, and you'll see a long, long list of all the software that's included. It's quite extensive. So, let's review again what we did. We loaded a number of Android tools with a single download. This means that you don't have to load the individual tools programs if you loaded the ADT bundle. However, some of you might not be doing it this way. For example, you might have an existing Eclipse environment that you want to use. So as we go through the lessons discussing what the individual tools do, I'll point out the installation options for the individual tools. But remember, if you've loaded the ADT bundle, you don't have to individually load the tools inside the red outline box in this graphic. You should, however, watch the lessons on these individual tools to get a good understanding of what they do and how to use them.